Why is biodegradation essential for the balance of nature? In nature, all living organisms contain carbon, an element essential for life, which helps form compounds known as organic materials. For example, plants feed off the carbon dioxide gas present in the atmosphere via photosynthesis. When they die, any carbon in them is returned to the natural environment, thanks to a process called biodegradation. First, the organic material decomposes into smaller parts through the action of physical environmental factors such as the wind or sun and biological factors such as the billions of living organisms, earthworms and fungi. Once sufficiently broken down into organic matter, it is then gradually digested by microorganisms such as bacteria. In the final stage, called bioassimilation, all that remains is carbon dioxide, which is released back into the atmosphere, water, and carbon-rich organic matter, called biomass or humus, which helps fertilize the soil and stimulates the growth of new plants. Biodegradation depends on the characteristics of the organic material. This material must first be biodegradable, that is to say, digestible by the microorganisms. How long biodegradation takes depends on the composition and size of the material. The more it is broken down and the greater the surface area available to microorganisms, the quicker the biodegradation process. The time it takes also depends on several other factors the quantity and diversity of microorganisms, as well as the humidity, temperature, and presence of oxygen. These factors can differ from one environment to another. Industrial composting and home composting are optimal man-made environments for the biodegradation of food and garden waste. They offer good oxygenation, controlled humidity and a higher temperature that encourages microorganism activity, which reduces the time needed for biodegradation. By its very nature, soil is the natural environment which favours biodegradation the most. The length of time it takes depends on the concentration of microorganisms, the type of soil plus the climate and season. At the other end of the scale, freshwater and seawater, which have a lower concentration of microorganisms, offer less favourable conditions for biodegradation, which then takes longer. What is done by photosynthesis is undone by biodegradation, which uses its regenerative power to maintain soil fertility and quality. So let's promote it.